A recent discovery by NASA that couldn't have come without some local help. And a heck of a discovery at that. A man from Metro Detroit helped the space agency find a brand new planet that could potentially have life on it. Grant Herms with the story. A major discovery right in Earth's celestial backyard. A new planet about the same size as ours in just the right place. Meet planet TOI 700E. And a key part of the team that found it can be found right in Metro Detroit's backyard. So we look at a lot of stars, we look at them for a long period of time, and we look for when that planet just fortuitously comes in front of our of the star to our line of sight. MSU Associate Professor Joey Rodriguez worked with the team here in Michigan and at NASA for years, first finding the solar system around a smaller star, about 40% the size of our own, just a short 100 light years away. Then they found other planets they think are rocky and sit in the star's Goldilocks zone, a place that's not too hot and not too cold for life. But 700E was hidden for years until one day it just decided to appear right between two other planets they already found. Sitting between C and D. We're like, what? What? And like we were bashing our heads against the wall because we were like, how did we miss it? But 700E could have some drawbacks. It takes less than a month on Earth for a full year there. And because it's so close to its star, it doesn't have days followed by nights. You have just one side that's really hot and one side that's really cold. That causes winds, that causes crazy weather patterns, assuming you have an atmosphere and all that. Um, and, and, and that's one of the bigger questions that's starting to come up, which is like, can that actually lead to a habitable environment? But the discovery is still exciting, and the next steps are to see if there are markers of life, water vapor, greenhouse gases, oxygen. And Professor Rodriguez thinks we may not be far off from getting an answer. But I think we'll find and detect those biosignatures around smaller sub-Neptune-sized planets probably in the next decade. Grant Herms, Local 4.